Good afternoon everyone. I have a beautiful, beautiful vintage chainsaw to show you today. It's a belated video. This is for one of my very early Dan Arm DD8F chainsaws. It's a, a beautiful, beautiful British saw. The DD8F, this is a Mark II. I've had three of these. This one's running the uh, Villiers engine from Wolverhampton and real history with these saws. Amazing, amazing history. All up weight is around the, I think it's about 28 to 30 pounds, depending on the size of the bar. It's running a solid nose bar, 22 inch. And again, it's spectacular. They started making these in 1959, so approaching 60 years old. It's running the Cox chipper chain invented by Joseph Buford Cox and they're just amazing amazing pieces of kit the fit and finish is fantastic so it's up on eBay um, for spares or repair uh, it's working and it's a it's a collector's item so hopefully suitable for one of you guys out there it's got amazing compression and it's incredibly loud apparently they make about five about five horsepower Everything works, throttle lock, manual oiler, etc. Compression. Wow, it really is loud, an absolute thing of beauty. So I'll quickly pick up the camera, do a little walk around, and people get a real idea for the condition and engineering in some of these beautiful old saws. So, no brakes on the pull start housing, as far as I can tell, and where possible, all the Fixtures and fittings are all original English English threads. Beautiful little brass stop tap on the fuel tank. Manual oil plunger, working well. Choke, working. And in the back, even has the original grip on the handle, which is so very very rarely see that. And the original cowl through here and step back here show people the throttle lock working non-original filter it's just I've put some foam in so it's in just to stop any dirt coming in clutch housing looks in great condition as does the chain tensioner assembly both guide plates are present inside and outside and the little guide bar used to align the, so you could see where the, the huge bar was going in. Here's the imposing, spectacular solid nose bar, nearly five inches thick or tall. And the Oregon chipper chain, which is in amazing condition. And I'm not sure if it looks like it's really had any use whatsoever. And then around to the front, little oil tank. And down in here, this is where the outboard points and condenser are for the engine. And back around. Okay, I'll do a quick restart. I was going to show as well as even the, um, the detail on the spark plug cap is just, just beautiful. I 
the lens, a bit greasy. I'll try wiping it again. Okay guys, I'll quickly show it on a restart. And like I say, hopefully suitable for one of you out there. They really are incredibly rare and difficult to find in this condition. And starting wise, it, once it's primed, it tends to start first pull. Um, I took the exhaust off when I first had it and the piston is in beautiful condition. Completely unmarked. Kill switch. Compression. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Any questions, please just let me know. And anybody who wants to come out and take a look at this beautiful rare saw, you'd be more than welcome. Bye for now.